Okay guys, uh, so check this out. If you're having problems with your iDrive, um, like Bluetooth connections, or just uh, there's a glitch somewhere within your iDrive, you can, um, there's a way around it. Check it out. Uh, what we're gonna do is restart the iDrive system, like hard reboot it. And what you need to do is just put the car in accessory mode, just tap it once, no foot on the brake, right there. Wait for the hard drive to start up. And essentially, we're just gonna restart, let's restart the whole hard drive system. Um, and then you can recalibrate it or whatever. Uh, just give it a second. All right. So when everything is, is, is back up, what you want to do is uh, hold down the power button or the volume knob for about 30 seconds between 20 to 25 seconds and it should restart um let's wait for it here see now that's uh how it just rebooted so it's now starting again um that essentially just clears out any glitches uh you know if you were if you were having any issues like uh I, I started doing that because I was having issues with my Bluetooth um, where sometimes it just won't play music or, you know, but hey, that's a quick fix. So if you want to restart your iDrive again, just remember car in accessory mode. Uh, that means the car is not running, right? Um, and then you want to hold down the volume knob for about 25 to 30 seconds. And then let it rest restart again. And uh, yeah, this should clear out, clear out your problems. Let me know what you think. Uh, if this works out for you, if you have any other alternative plans to solve your know, iDrive issues, let me know.